Hey Cancer, welcome back. This is going to be your March 2023 love reading. So let's see what messages need to come out for you guys. You're going to still see this through the month of February. It's at the very end of February. So for those of you that are interested still, I'm offering those three free love readings in the month of February. If you are new, I do monthly giveaways. So go ahead and subscribe so you can take advantage of it. This month will be three free readings. I just need you to be a subscriber. Leave a heart emoji in the comment section um, for the few days that you have left of February um, in the readings that you view of mine until the end. I will randomly choose three people at the end of the month, reach out to you through YouTube. So please make sure your notifications are on. And then um, I will provide the link to my Etsy shop and direct you over there. It'll say contact shop owner. You just let me know you're one of the people that won the free reading and I'll get your, where it's protected over there, I'll get your information. At any time you would like me to tune in to just your energy, over there on that page, I offer a variety of readings and the link will always pr be provided in the description box of every reading that I do do. All right, so let's get into Cancer's reading. Cancerian's love for March 2023. Unicorn, 33. Success, hope, freedom, healing, and magic are all available to you if you just believe. So there is some type of magic coming your way in terms of love. Okay. I feel like karma is coming towards you in your favor. Fun times ahead. And true love. Bottom of the deck, courting man. Someone who's very businesslike and at... The bottom of the other deck was money. So you might meet this person maybe through your career, through business. They may have their own business, but they seem very business-like, sophisticated, um, basically having their shit together in terms of their career. Suit coat looks a little tight around here, doesn't it? Look like blackish brown hair with blue eyes. This person, because I knew somebody who used to say fun times all the time. So it might be somebody who actually uses that phrase, fun times. I mean, I still know that person, but I just remember they used to say fun times. Blessings, man. Good things are coming your way, Cancer, in terms of love. Surrendering to what didn't work and trying to let go of that past. Anything that made you feel defeated. Surrender and let go and trust that what is truly meant for you will never pass you by. Not You, you don't have to control everything or find yourself needing to know everything. It was a hard, hard lesson for me to learn. And for some of you, it could be happening before the winter is over. So for some of you, it could be definitely happening within the month of March. All right, let's see what type of relationship. Watching love. Somebody could have a crush on you or you may have a crush on someone. Watching them through social media, maybe they're watching you. If it happens through work or through business, it's like this person might be um, flirting with you or you may feel the vibe that they're interested. And intoxicating love. All right, Cancer, let's get into it. This is a good start. Okay. 
All right, bottom of the deck. More of those um, blessings, more of those feeling like your wishes are coming true. You could be dealing for some of you with an Aquarius. But see how the stars are aligning for something to happen. All right, let's see. Eight of Pentacles. So like I said, for some of you, it may be something that you thrive at, that you're very good at in terms of like your business. Um, you may even have your own like shop or doing something that you love to do on the side and you do business with someone and it stems from there. But with it being Pentacles, it could be around business or work for some of you. But I also feel like that with this being the current energy, it's like you're very focused on things that make you happy, things that you're dedicated towards. You could be putting extra time in at work or doing extra things for your career, but you're also looking for a connection where no matter if you're just watching TV because you see both of their attention is somewhere else, it's like they just got done having like romp and roll and then, you know, she has her coffee or her tea and they're watching like an episode of something. No matter what you're doing, it's like, you're very dedicated towards each other. Near future. Six of Wands. Going the distance. Wanting a success within this quick connection. For some of you, you could be dealing with an earth sign. We have earth, fire, and air here. So we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have uh, Leo, Aries, Gemini. And then remember Aquarius. Also could be Libra. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But wanting to go the distance. You may know somebody who's told you that you have a nice butt, or you might be admiring someone's butt. I just feel like something amazing is about to happen for you guys. And look at that, the Knight of Chalice is coming in very romantic, coming in very chivalrous. Masculine or feminine energy, however it works for you. Somebody coming in and wanting to open up in terms of feelings. More water energy. So like I said, you may have your eye on someone, Cancer, and you're thinking about letting that person know. Something just fell out. Let me see what it is. Hold on, guys. I can't pick it up. I put these flipping nails on because I got to go somewhere. and It's hard for me to pick up. See, here you are, Cancer. This is your energy. It's like you're ready for true love. You're ready for those miracles and those blessings to start happening for you. You're ready for commitment. All right, let's see what else. Four of Swords. The time that you've spent taking care of yourself, going within, getting grounded, allowing yourself to heal. Six of Wands, clarified by the world in reverse. So guys, there might be something that you thought was going to be an ending that you may basically have written off as like never hearing from this person again and it'll never be what you wanted it to be. You possibly have already moved on because in the far future, distant future, there's the Knight of Chalices and the Knight of Wands. You might have already moved on to someone else. And I feel like somebody who didn't close out this chapter with you, who hasn't been able to move on, is coming towards you. Hanged Man was at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, I feel like you were in retreat from someone. Let's see. Seven of Swords. You've needed to take some time to heal. 
I feel maybe that they were completely honest with their feelings. They may have lied to you. But the wheel is turning in this. Let's see. Yeah, see that hanged man is here. There's a light bulb going off in somebody's mind. And here is the eight of wands. So where there is no where there was no progression, and you felt defeated and surrendered, and it could have stemmed from work. I feel like this person cannot get you off their mind. They're coming towards you. I mean, needless to say, you are going to feel like this is a blessing. You possibly had a lot of fun times. Maybe even saw yourself being with this person long term with the Ten of Cups here. For some of you, it's definitely around work. Or business. Earth. Energy here, fire energy here, air energy. They could live at a distance from you. Possibly some traveling will need to be happen. But yeah, you've planted the seeds on this and there's something coming to fruition. I feel they see you moving on and doing well for yourself. And now they want to offer you that equal give and take. Now, for some of you, they could have been working on their finances. You know, they might have had to put extra work into their career before they could worry about having a long-term relationship. If that is the situation for some, then they are coming in leveled up. But, like I said, Cancer, I feel like there are two people that are going to want to be with you and you need to make a decision. One with true love here is definitely genuine. I feel like that's the person that's keeping an eye on you. The one that is returning. And I'm going to clarify that hangman being here twice. You have definitely have come far for yourself. You've surrendered to what has happened and you trust it. That what is coming towards you was meant to be there. So it's like you could take those baby steps. You could remain grounded because you've worked so hard. And now there's going to be tears of jar, sar, tears of joy. And it says, tears of sorrow turn to tears of joy. I really feel like for some of you, you thought this per. You would never hear from this person again, but they haven't been able to get over you. However, I definitely feel like for some of you, you have somebody else and there's the Wheel of Fortune. One, I just want to find out, Spirit, who is this person that was in the Hangman energy? Definitely could be a fire sign that wasn't looking for a relationship. Anything else? Final message for my Cancerians. I feel like I just said Taurus a minute ago. So for some of you, you could have been dealing with a Taurus. This person's coming in quick, too. I definitely am getting the energy of they didn't realize what they had until it was gone. And they're coming in very, like, the desire is deep. I feel it. They're not going to back down. Even if you have someone else, it's like, it's not the last that you've heard from them. In January... So for some of you, it's going to happen within March. For others of you, by January 2024. Let's see what else. Okay. And next month. So a year out, a year out, 2024 of January. Or a, a month out from, from now until, I guess what, March... 
So we're on the 25th, March 25th, from now until March 25th for some of you. But there's definitely someone that is watching you, that sees you as their true love. But for some of you, you definitely are going to have two options and you're going to need to make a choice. And definitely one is you need, one is genuine. They can't get over this connection with you. And I feel like it's the one returning that's genuine. Not that the other one isn't. But I feel like the one returning has missed you. And will do anything that they can to make this right. Alright Cancer, let me know how it resonates. I will be back for many more readings. Love and light.